how about Frank, pronouns he, him, call it in from, <laughs> yes, from Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, a different god, um, uh, who says he is a young Earth creationist and that the complexity of the human eye couldn't evolve gradually uh, yep. and has some, some questions. So let's talk about all this stuff. Frank, you're on the line with Forrest and Promise. How are you doing today? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Great. How are you doing, Forrest? Never had a bad day. What was that? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, what do you want to talk to us about today? I wanted to talk about the amazing creation of a human eye. I've dissected a few. Let's talk about it. Sure. What's your issue with them? So you understand if our um, if our nervous system understood that the eye was there, it would actually attack it and kill it. No, that's not your nervous system. You're talking about your immune system, and that's also kind of hyperbole, but that's a totally different thing. Also, it, your mic is chopping quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if you're like really close to it or if you just have a bad connection, but if you could just try to check that, that would be really cool. Gotcha. Uh, so here's the thing that's, that's your immune system, not your nervous system. And also it's really important to remember that that's not even close to the only time that happens. Um, so for example, anytime someone gets pregnant, um, uh, what's, what's going on with that? There's like some weird echoey sounds. It sounds like you're crinkling up like a candy wrapper made of goblins onto your phone. Can you fix whatever's going on with your phone so we can talk? cool it sounds like maybe your voice modulator is fucking up um so the uh the, if say for example any person who gets pregnant humans have a hemochorial placenta that means that the placenta actually invades into the uterine tissue itself and it causes that placenta to literally be butting up against the blood supply of the person who is pregnant um and so you've got this blood supply literally touching the outer wall of the placenta that's a major issue for your immune system and so you have to activate certain genes in order to suppress your own immune system so that your body does not eat your own placenta and your own fetus and so like there's lots of situations in which you know targeted immunosuppression is a just a feature of uh, of our biology and our physiology in that particular case it actually comes from endogenous retroviruses not from any kind of divine thing yeah Interesting. Yeah, it's, science is pretty cool. Uh, would you like to talk about the evolution of the eye? Because there's a lot there that demonstrates that it certainly is an intelligent design. Well, I'm just curious if we've ever actually observed an eye evolving in a lab. So you understand why that's a silly ass question, right? Or, or do you not? Do you th do you th genuine question? Do you actually think that's a hard hitting question? You know, science should be repeatable. Okay, so you you either you are a lazy troll or you don't understand how evolution works. Um, here's a really cool thing: is that you know if we find a fossil, right? Or it's actually take it out of out of that. Let's talk about murder, right? If we see a murder, right? We go and find somebody dead in their house. Do we have to see that murder happen several different times to call it repeatable and in order and then do forensic science? Beyond a reasonable doubt, yes. No. So so that's the thing about evidence, is that we can look for fingerprints, footprints, blood spatter patterns, motives, blah, 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 and we can build together a picture that will get you beyond a reasonable doubt to understand that this, you know, who did this murder. It doesn't mean you have concrete, perfect, absolute proof the way you would have if you saw the thing, but science doesn't deal in proof. Science deals in evidence evidence that can take you beyond a reasonable doubt so yeah if we have a murder victim here we don't have to watch the same murder happen three times to get beyond a reasonable doubt that's just dumb you understand right 
Yeah. Right, but so I was about to explain why one piece is better than the radio. So similarly, we don't have to watch an eye evolve because that would be impossible. We just have to have the right evidence that shows us that it did to get beyond a reasonable doubt. And the evidence that we have for the evolution of eyes and arms and wings and all these other things that creationists claim are beyond, you know, the, the irreducibly complex or whatever is well beyond the reasonable doubt stage. We're, we're way, way, way past that. We're arguing now about how eyes evolved, at what time eyes evolved, how many different times eyes evolved, not whether or not they evolved. Gotcha. Do you have any specific questions or, or, or is this the end of your script? Well, I don't think any of that is evidence. I think that's just you saying things. Saying big words. I haven't Trans given any evidence. Can I, so, Frank, I, I have a question. Is, yet. is the reason you believe in a god because you think evolution isn't true? Yep. That's why you believe in a god? Because even when I, yep. so I, I didn't, I didn't believe I was homeschooled. I had a terrible uh, science education growing up. And so even when I stopped believing in a God, um, I wasn't sure about evolution. It was still this like elusive, weird, scary thing to me, but I was content with saying, I don't know. And I'm, a, I'm just confused as to why your inability to understand or like, or you know, vibe with evolution makes you believe in an entire God. Or did you believe that only two options are possible? Either there's a God or evolution? Those are the only credible options. Credible according well, to what? lazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, there's, there, there's theistic evolution. To the church. What if this is a simulation? Damn. Yeah. And what if God used evolution to get us to where we are? What if God drove evolution? Or what if God started the universe in such a way that evolution would happen all by itself? Like dominoes. What if? Precisely. Right. So that's why these my are, question for are, you is why did you automatically go to a theistic? Also, which God do you believe in? Can I ask that? Well, you said Catholic, a Catholic church Catholic. a second ago. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. you you even got specific which with which God you believe in. So I'm curious as to why you believe in that God. And if it's literally just because you don't believe in evolution, that's one of the worst reasons I've heard. Why? Because of the reasons I just listed. Yeah, because it's just intellectually lazy and it rules out a lot of other options. And also, just like with Anish a second ago, you're not just saying, I believe in a God. You're saying, I believe in this specific God from this specific interpretation of this specific translation, this specific tradition, this specific church, this specific idea from this specific holy book. It's, it's not just, I don't believe in evolution, therefore some guy must have done it. It's, I know the guy's name, and I know the guy's kid, and I know how the guy wants me to have sex, and whether or not the guy wants me to masturbate, and whether or not I'm allowed to wear mixed fabrics because of the guy, and, like, who I'm allowed to have butt stuff with because of the guy, and, like, all this stuff that the guy does and doesn't like. Like, it's, that's, that's what you're bringing in. It's, it's, it's not just, like... I don't know about how life became so diverse. Therefore, I'm going to incorporate some magical thinking. It's literally like, no, you don't understand. I under I, I get that the entire endeavor of medicine, agriculture, forensics, biology in general, all hinges upon evolution. But have you heard about the magic space guy that doesn't want you touching yourself because he's pretty fucking cool? Like that's that's what you're actually calling in with. And that's just incredibly lazy. Yeah, I'd much rather hear an actual argument for why you believe what you believe. Do you really think that evolution created the human eye? Are you able uh, to have... engage in this conversation, or did you just not listen to anything we just said? I have a tremendous amount of evidence that demonstrates that's the case. You haven't heard any of it yet because we've just been getting through the bare minimum of how to have an intelligent conversation about this. 
Well, I'll be honest, a lot of what you guys are saying is going straight over my head. So I would appreciate it if you could dumb it down a little bit for me. No one is surprised. No one is surprised. Here's the thing. We're going to move on um, so that you have time to find another IP address and another voice changer so you can continue wasting everybody's fucking time. But the the thing is, man, we've, we've actually done some good here because with this call... There's a lot of people watching who actually say the shit that you're trying to pretend you're you you actually believe. Uh, right. And this is a communication method for them. There are people who actually get hung up on that stuff and they're now learning. So thank you for helping us bring more people away from your shitty religion and teach them a little bit more about science, scientific thinking and the scientific method. Maybe someday we'll actually talk about the evidence for the evolution of the eye. You can go down to any one of the other calls where I've talked about that stuff or my videos on the YouTubes or, you know, next time you call back in to be a troll, maybe we'll cover it then. Who knows? It'll be a lot of fun. Maybe next time he'll call in and tell us why bananas um, are proof of God. I would love that. It, that would be a fun one. If you're going to troll, yeah. like, please pick something exciting and interesting. Yeah. That, that's the thing for me is like, it's, 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 I'm happy to t- like, there's a reason we didn't drop the call immediately. It's because, like I said, they, I have met people who sincerely, earnestly believe the things that that guy was pretending to believe. And so right. like, I'm happy to actually get a totally. little bit of that out there that it can still be beneficial. But like, if you're just going to be a troll, be a funny one. You know what I mean? Right. And he like, couldn't have, even have go back and forth with us or anything. So it's just lazy, lazy trolls is the problem. When I Maybe was a if, troll for fun. Right. <laughs> Maybe there will be some other theists. We do have... Some lines open. Um, we have another mm-hmm. theist caller we can get to, but I'm eager to actually, I feel like, not bored. I love this show. This is great. But I was hoping for some actual, like, and niche was the most we got to get into a conversation so far. And that's just a little frustrating mm-hmm. for me. So I would love for a theist to call and actually present us an argument or just present us with why they believe what they believe without following some script or some argument they think will win us over. I just want to know what you right. believe and why. I think you and I have some of our most fun conversations with people like that. When we all leave yeah. the conversation feeling like, cool, that was nice. Like, let's talk again sometime, you know? So I'd I'd love one of those theists to call. Hey, do you think this clip just fell out of a coconut tree? No, it did. I, okay. Now, technically I did build the channel into a coconut tree and it did fall out. And also that our internet router is up there. Actually, in a lot of ways, this actually, this production fell out of a coconut tree, but we could only afford that because people like you supported us for $5 a month over where is that Eric? Uh, patreon.com slash call the line and that's right Jimmy will you got it yeah be grateful yeah we have an exclusive patron podcast over there check it out thumbs up with it Eric we talked about this in the meeting we have to both oh yeah up. sorry that's right okay there we go